Another thing to note is that Peter, Peter Grant, drives in to here yes. directly off the road down a gravel path and gets yeah. to the field and just parks up. We tried, listener. Yeah, you can't do that. No. Because you have to go through Trewsbury Farm. It's private. Well, there's Trewsbury Farm and there's also an estate, yeah. which is uh, private as well. Yeah. So, so either they flash their uh, their warrant we, cards. And well, we just drove down there thinking, if anyone stops me, I'm going to tell them I'm the police, mate. Yeah. What are you going to do about it? Yeah. Well, it's probably what they did. Uh, and then he parked up down there and then came out to here, yeah, right? But then so. how did old Father Thames and his family get here if it wasn't the same way? And how did they get permission to uh, set well, up a... Here we are, because we've driven down here, and there were an enormous number of cars parked up on the side of the road, on the edge of the estate. All, loads of people with binoculars. Men and women wearing gilets and yeah. country wear. Country wear. Binoculars. Lot, Land Rovers, Range Rovers. A few shooting sticks. Yeah. And, and I was in, like, my, what are they doing? Well, my first hunch was that a very rare bird had been spotted, uh-huh. and that, that all the twitchers of Gloucestershire had... Had, they were a had, little bit too well ...had got the call. I thought they were a bit well healed for twitchers. Then we saw two people on horses... Uh, one of them with a red jacket on, oh, and well, realised... It's a hunt. There's probably a hunt, and then they've all come onto the edge of the estate to just to, I don't know what, look at dogs running around yeah. and horses. A very odd way to spend your day, yeah. he says, standing at the non-existent source <laughs> of the Thames, which is mentioned in a book, and I've driven all the way from London to see it. Yeah, so there's no, there's no travellers here anymore, but the, you, I was wondering whether that's, that's what they've become, for, that his family have become, they've become quite well-heeled. Did well and out instead the, of caravans and in the field, they're now in Range Rovers. Did well out the triple lock pension guarantee. And they're guarantee. having a hunt every now and again. Yeah. Don't you think? We all know, don't we? Well, we know a few. Um, hippies and uh, levellers and yes. types from the 80s. Never who, trust them. Who are now all in golf clubs. Completely right. We all know those, we all know those people. Well, that's old Father Thames. He's yeah. joined a golf club. He's bought a Range Rover. <laughs> and now he watches hunts. And finally, he's put some clothes on. Because yeah. have you seen pictures of him? Well, the silver. He loves to shake it all about. So, well, I was every, actually... Every statue I've seen of Father Thames, you're saying, put some pants on, man. It's weird because he quite often has a robe. Yeah. And then he doesn't cover up. No pants. I wonder whether that's his swimming towel that he puts out. A dry robe. <laughs> <laughs> the Father Thames dry robe. That would well, sell that, like hot cakes. It really would. It really would. <laughs> that is Q-Spec merchandise right there.